it's long. I can't lie, bro. Poch is gonna <laughs> run their legs off. It's one game, it's one game a week as well. You can build some brazy tempo with that if you mm. can get everything right. So, like, I'm I'm looking forward to next season. Next season's going to be really good for us. But on Jao Felix, loan him for another year. And, I don't know, obligation, option to buy, do what you want. But he needs a lot more time before you can get him on a permanent deal. Because 85 million, I understand the reservations on that from a Chelsea perspective. Mm. No, 100%. So, yeah, like uh, some Mudrick. Pochettino, apparently, um, when he was talking to Chelsea, he looked at, um, Mudrick and Levi Colwell as two players that he's going to work with and like really try and get the best out of. He said Mudrick, he can turn him into a very consistent goal scorer at the right time. Yeah, I, be I believe so. Like, listen, Poch is a genius, man. Mm. You know, like that. And the, and the thing is with Pochettino, it's like, Poch, what, one thing that's been common with the players that I've spoken to that played for Pochettino, yeah, is they all love him, bro. Like, they all love to play for him. But like he's one of them guys where like you even seen it when he left Tottenham and that them man were crying and that bruv like that's not normal like when when managers get sacked players get on with life very 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 quickly you know like that that's just how it is bro like them man genuinely were upset like the closest thing I've seen to that is when Mourinho left Inter bruv them man were balling bruv like do you know what I mean like yeah. when man when managers can build that kind of connection with players these men will, if they're playing for the manager, yeah, anything is possible, bro. Most of the time, when you're looking at Chelsea right now, you're looking at Tottenham, yeah, these guys are not playing for the manager. <laughs> People can say, oh, they don't care. And this, bro, they're not playing for the manager. They're not. Because if you were, just because you gave a shit about the manager, because as a player, you know, if you keep underperforming, it's the manager that gets sacked. There's no danger of you, you're, you getting your contract terminated. There's yeah. no danger. Do you know what I mean? It's the manager. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So, when these players, yeah, are playing for the manager, these sort of performances simply do not happen, bro. They don't happen. So it's, I don't know, man. See, like, I'm not. Sh I'm not too sure because we had these sorts of we had performances like we had under Potter, under Lampard, under Tuchel as well. Not to the same level of of like just looking crap. Like let's say Chelsea when we lost against Brighton last week. I'm not going to say the performance was that bad under Tuchel, but we did have results that were terrible and bad performances as well. Like when we lost 3-0 to Leeds lot earlier this season, um, Brentford 4-1 last season, Real Madrid home leg, Arsenal 4-2. Like there's there's been terrible performances from the club under a string of different managers. That's why like to me, it's, it's a little bit of both where the manager... It's a case of whether you're playing for the manager or not, but it's also motivation levels from these players. Like now we're out of the Champions League. I'm expecting some of the worst football like mm. I've ever seen with Lampard's tactics um into that as well. Because yeah, Lampard's just what? out survival mode now for Frank, isn't he? He's, he's playing for pride now because he knows it's not his job anyway. I don't even know if he is because he's playing back fours with like so much space between the midfield and the defence and the attack. And it's like, what are you even trying to do? He, he's saying like he's going to play uh, the likes of Mudrik or Madweki or Chakumeka if they deserve the game time. And I'm thinking, well... Okay, cool. I don't want to see anybody who's been shit the last five or six games in the lineup because I know <laughs> I'm going to. Because there's yeah. too many shit players for you not to put any of them in if you're not going to put those players in. Like, Chaku Mecca, we're not even going to say deserves it by default. Like, at this point, just, just play players that are going to be here next season and who haven't completely embarrassed us all season as well. Sure. I want to see the likes of Chaku Mecca, Lewis Hall, go full Cobham sexual at this rate. I don't care because why are we going to play the veterans who have been shy all season? To do what? They're already on the beach. We saw this last season when we got knocked out by Real Madrid. Some of the performances I saw after that game was fucking pathetic. 4-2 against Arsenal, nobody was good. To the point where Werner was our best player. Says a lot, because even he was arse in that game too. 1-0 loss to Lampard's Everton um, when they were trying to fight the drop. Manchester United, I remember, hell, there was good periods in that game and still shit finishing. And then we threw the game back to you as soon as we took the lead. Like, 
I know exactly what I'm going to see from these players, and they're not going to give a fuck. We absolutely so if, killed if you in that game, though. We absolutely training. killed you in that game, Lewis. Like the fact that you could have won that game, yeah, is an absolute abomination because mm -hmm. we absolutely battered you in that game. I can't believe one-one well, draw. Yeah, at Old Trafford. But when Casemiro fucking scored the header at the end, bro, we no, 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 game. not that one, not that one. Um, the one where Ronaldo scored. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, last okay, season, okay. last season. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. Like, earlier this season, you were you were taking the piss out of us. I don't even yeah, know yeah, how yeah. we got the lead. La okay. Last season, though, that was like straight after the fucking Real Madrid loss, and like we had chances. Havertz missed like three big chances, same as usual, and we had one goal. You guys took the took the equalizer about two, three minutes after that. But it's just the same shit. These lot are on the beach. The motivation isn't there. They're playing slow. They're not playing with any motivation, any intensity. So play the players that have something to fight for. Because most of these players, they don't give a fuck anymore. I don't understand why we're not going to give youth players a chance at this point. And that's yeah. stupid to me. No, understood. Understood. 100%. Bro, like, one thing I'd say is it looks like you're going in the right direction. It's still early days, bro. Um, but Pochettino is, is the right man. I said it. I said it. Mm. I said it a little little while back. It'll be a few shows back. I said it. I said out of all the managers that you're linked to, I said Poch is the best bet. You were linked with Enrique Nagelsmann and Poch, and I said Poch was the guy. Um, it doesn't matter how they've come to this decision because it looks like Nagelsmann was the first choice, and for some reason it didn't work out. Um, however, you got the right man, I believe. I believe t um, Chelsea are a problem next season because they have Pochettino. And because they have quality young players and they will strengthen again. In and the, the one game a week. That yeah. Helps too. Yeah. Last time you had one game a week, you won the league, right? Mm -hmm. And exactly. I'm not going to, I'm not saying I want those expectations as well. Yeah. But for me, all I, I'll say, if we get, oh, if we get everything right in the transfer window with one game a week, top four should be a bare minimum. And I would look higher up than top four, depending on what the situation is there, because City could still be on a madness. If they are, whatever is what it is. Mm -hmm. um, have to be getting to at least one cup final. At least one. I want both personally, but you should be getting to at least one of them. As long as you have the right window, you clear out the players that you need to clear out or enough of them. You bring in a DM, bring in a goalkeeper, bring in a, bring in a striker. There's no reason why top four shouldn't be the bare minimum again for us. No reason. Because with one game a week, that's plenty of rest. You can build some brazy pressing tempo. You can move the ball with some crazy level of intensity. And yeah, things should be looking up for us next season. It should be. This season, no, like it was meant to be transitional. I never thought we were going to make top four from the start of the season. Didn't think it would get this bad. Nobody thought it would get this bad, but... I guess that's what happens when you've got when you've got owners who are still figuring out their pathway.